Hey everybody, it's Tracy here. I'm going to share with you my hauls from the last couple of days. I went to, let's see, one, two, three different Dollar Trees, Tuesday morning, Hobby Lobby, and two Goodwills and a Goodwill Outlets. So I've been a little busy. I also should hopefully in a couple days have baby book number five completed. So hopefully I'll be able to share that with you as well. And um, a couple junk journal ideas going on up in this head of mine. Um, I wanted to say thank you to all my new subbies. I am almost at 300 subbies. And I just did a giveaway at 200 subbies. So I think probably right around 350 or 400, probably closer to 400, I will probably do another giveaway. Um, and I super appreciate all of you that have been subscribing or watching, liking, and commenting. Definitely give me tips or whatever, or tell me some of your ideas, what you like to craft and, and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, my Tuesday morning haul was not really a haul. I'm super, super disappointed in them. And the girl that rang me up said that apparently it came from corporate that they're just going to stop doing crafty stuff. Like, I remember probably last year they were selling Graphic 45, and now they don't even have that. And literally today I went in there with one of my friends. We actually, there started out with three of us, but we had to drop one of them off. Um, but we still had an awesome time. Anyways, back on track here. So Tuesday morning, they literally, like, had or hordes and hordes and hordes of craft supplies. And then today, like... Literally all I got was these two things and one more of this one for my friend. I figured I would buy her some things for her her gas money or whatever. So, And I've never seen these before. So I'm kind of excited to find them, but then sad because her craft se section kind of stunk. But it's milk paint, which I'm not really sure what milk paint is. It's casein-based paint, and it's 6.8 fluid ounces. Um, they only have the two colors. This one is called Liberty Green. And then the other one is pink dogwood. So that's Tuesday morning. Plus, like I said, I got another one of the Liberty Green for my friend um, from Tuesday morning. And then at the Hobby Lobby, um, one of the things I probably shouldn't share, just because it's a gift for my friend that's the baby book is going to, the last baby book is going to, but at the same time, it's too good of a, a deal or steal to not share. Um, so we, that Hobby Lobby was our first stop of the day. And we got there like 10 minutes early, not realizing that they don't open till 9 on Mondays. But the girl also told me that Mondays is the best day to go. So now I know that because it's a good half an hour, 45 minutes away. So this here... I got it for $6.24, and I just thought it was so stinking cute. Um, sorry about the glare. I will go ahead and lay it down here. See if you can see that. It's a, it says Sweet Baby Girl, and it was on clearance. And they had a whole bunch of their, their pictures or whatnot, art on clearance. So I had to get that for her because I thought that was super stinking cute. And for $6.24, I mean... Why not? Like, there was so much clearance stuff I wanted to grab up. So I got that. And then my other Tuesday morning, I mean, excuse me, Hobby Lobby stuff. That frame was Hobby Lobby, not Tuesday morning, if I said that incorrectly. Um. Okay, so last time I went to Hobby Lobby, I got these Tim Holtz. And I just freaking love them. They are amazing. And those I think I got 40% off. And then this time they had the monster pair, or which they want to call the nine and a half inch pair. And it was 40% off. So I was like, well, I love Tim Holtz products anyways. They're resistant to rust and corrosion. They're super amazing scissors. He's super amazing product, so why not? So that was 40% off on that. And then I believe I told you I guys I was going to do a B uh junk journal and I found this today and there's three textured impression plates and I thought that one would work really great for it this too was 40% off and um they're actually embossing folders is what they are 
3D texture impression. Oh, there's only one in there. I thought it was three, but still, I think that would work for the honey bee honeycomb um, uh, design. Sorry, my brain is not cooperating with me. Um, I found this here lace. It's wide sequin, wide, <laughs> wide sequin, tr sequin trim. <laughs> my goodness. Um, I'm not sure that you can see the sequins on there, but I got this roll and it says it's 41. No, not 41. Um, two and a half inches by three yards. And I paid a whole dollar 24 for that. So that's kind of exciting on that. I think that'll be great for some junk journals. And then I found this here. Let's see if I can get this off of here. It's um, I don't want to use, we'll use these scissors here. So it is, let's see, it says it's, well, I can't quite read it, but it's impressed, impressed vinyl, and I can't quite see how long it is. It says, I don't know, they had problems writing on it, and I don't, um, oh, I see why it's clearance, is because it says it has a small peeling patch, but I think it still will be really great for the junk journals. Um, and I mean, is that not gorgeous or what? So it's, a, oh, I see right there. It's peeling, whatever. That just gives it a rustic look, right? So I paid, I think $2 and 83 cents for that. Okay. And then in here was also this here. And it was a fabric scrap that I seen. I don't want to cut it the fabric itself. So this here I paid $2.99 and um, in the clearance section, but is it that gorgeous? Super gorgeous. So I have some ideas for that. And that was, I don't know how long that was because I just tore the heck out of it. 20 inches long. And then to go with that, I found this amazing bandana and I thought it was only going to be a dollar 98 and it was only 99 cents so I'm going to do something with that so that was my Hobby Lobby haul I think that's pretty good for being in there for an hour only come out with that little bit of stuff um let's see I went to a Goodwill after we dropped off one of our friends our other friend I'm sorry I can't even talk today we stopped at a Goodwill and I found these collector's edition ball canning jars and there's only three in there but i think they're um pretty cute um i'm not even sure if i'll use them for canning because they look like the vintage ones they're obviously they're not the vintage ones they're just kind of going back to that old vintage style so i paid a dollar 99 for three of those and i use a lot of the canning jars in my craft room for storage for beads and scrabble tiles or whatever and then I found this it's an iris container and so I had a couple bigger ones of these and I had my silk flowers in them but I wasn't really using them this I paid $4.99 for it and it has six of these little folders so I thought or container containers my goodness in here I think I might use these for like my embellishments and whatnot because I don't really like how some of my stuff is stored. Or maybe I'll use them for my embossing folders. So that was the one Goodwill haul, I guess, if you want to call it a haul. Um, let's see. I got stuff all over the floor here. This here. Yeah. So then we went to two Dollar Trees today. Sadly, my friend Gina did not get to go with us. Um, but she had a more important engagement, so... I found three of these Dollar Tree yard stakes with the, the um, vintage truck on there. So those will probably get pulled off of there because I don't want to put them in my yard. Um, but I got the, gra grabbed the last three of those. And then I s grabbed some of these because I saw on Lizzie and Erin that Erin had taken these. She popped this off of here and put like a flag on 
you know, the stripes on one and the stars on the other. And then she had a little gnome that she got at the Hobby Lobby, but I didn't see them today. And also their patriotic stuff was not on clearance, you know, on sale. So I didn't grab those, but I'm still going to try and do something like that. And then I found these, I grabbed six of them and it's the, the wood cubes. And one of the craft channels I watch here on YouTube, she had a stack of six of them. And I, I'm i I'm sure she did a video on it, but I noticed it in one of her videos I was watching today. She had a stack of six of these. And so I'm going to copycat her or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But she had put scrapbook paper on either side. I mean, all sides, excuse me. And then she put summer, spring, autumn, and fall on there. So I think I'm going to do that because I think that would be super cute and then I also picked up a couple um sorry about that a couple little things there from my friend Teresa that drove us um down there today and then the other Dollar Tree we went to I've never seen these before and I think I got oh okay that don't need to be in there uh <laughs> this is my checkbook I don't know how it ended up in there um I've never seen these before, and so they are, they're like made out of balsa wood or something. And there was four packs, but one of them was missing because somebody ripped it open to look at them. But these flowers, they're literally, they're made out of some kind of wood or something. I've never seen anybody share those. They say they're Sola, it's Sola flower bag. Um, but I'm not really sure, but I, I thought those were so freaking adorable. So I picked up three of those. And then the only other thing I got at that Dollar Tree was these awesome, awesome, um, metal trucks. And I grabbed four of those. I might paint them or something. I'm not really sure. So that's that one. Um, okay. So then my Goodwill, and not, excuse me, not Goodwill. Um, Yeah, I kind of got this stuff mixed up a little bit. So I went to another Dollar Tree yesterday, and it's all sorts of mixed up. I got some of these beaded trims here, because, I mean, a dollar, you can't pass those up, right? And then I got this, which I know you probably think, whatever, weirdo, but it's a magnetic pickup tool, but I thought that would be great for when I drop my brads or eyelets on the floor, because... There's paper scraps everywhere. It's hard to see them sometimes. So I picked that up. And then I seen somebody used these in junk journals for pockets. So I picked up two packs of those. And then I found these metal trucks. So I grabbed four of those there. Sorry about the reflection. And I'm pretty sure I already have some of these. Um, I grabbed six of those. And let's see, I'm running out of room here. And then I also found, oh, I dropped one. Okay, well, I'm not going over there to pick it up. And I dropped another one. <laughs> Anyways, I found three of these. And I think what I'm going to do is pop that little wood piece out of the center there. And then I'll have them for multiple signs. So I've got three of those. And three of these. And I think I'll do the same with those as well. Um, but I did, apparently, Lizzie and Erin have a video that they did something with those. Or Erin did a video that she did with those. Okay, so then the Goodwill yesterday. I found this awesome fabric. And I thought that would be super fantastic to use for a Rainbow Junk Journal. And I paid $2.99 for this. And I mean, it's a pretty good size piece. That's still folded like two more times. So I got that. And then I found this. And my friend told me that it's like a, a table skirt type of thing. Or a dresser skirt, rather. And I paid $2.99 for that. And I thought that would be great for a junk journal as well. $2.99. And let's see. Then, we'll go this way. I found this. I paid $1.99 for it. And it says, Letters to the Bride. Right now, read letter, later, Treasure Forever. And it's, it's, so it's a book, which 
excuse me, I'll probably end up tearing apart, but it has little envelopes or they look like envelopes in there that you can write the bride a letter, right? So I think those are super cute for junk journals, but it actually unfolds into a journal page. So I might doctor them up or whatever, but I thought that would be super stinking cute to put in some junk journals. And I don't know how many letters are in there. It says this sticker is removable on the back. Um, and apparently originally it was $14.95 and I paid $1.99 for it, which is highly unlikely for Goodwill because they always jack their prices up like super high. Um, so there's that. And my awesomeness of score there, which I really definitely did not need, was some stamps from Close to My Heart. They were red tags. So this one was originally $2.99, and I paid half price. So there's this one here. Sorry about the glare, guys, ladies. That one there. Um, they did have more, but I really, honestly, I do not need any more. This one else also was $2.99 before the 50% off. And I like that they come in little pouches. This one wasn't on clearance, but I paid $1.99 for this. And it actually has two sheets of stamps in there. And then there was this one here. This one was $2.99 before the 50% off. And that one has one sheet there. And then this one here, let's see, it was $4.99 before they're 50% off. I've never seen them in the hard hard case before. And so there's those two sheets there. And then my last, hopefully this is not getting too long. No, not too bad. Um, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here was the Goodwill outlets that we went to today after we went to Hobby Lobby. And we were in there for like two hours, two, three hours, something like that. And some people are so rude. Have you realized how rude people are anymore with this pandemic, pandemic, whatever you want to call it? Like apparently you're supposed to only have one person to a table and we didn't realize that. Simple mistake, right? Not for these people. Like people were being nasty. I'm here. You need to wait. They're pushing their carts into us, not saying, excuse me. And it's literally seven letters, two words, excuse me, that like escaped people's vocabulary or something. So, um, yeah, it was nuts in there. And my friend was laughing at me because I just, I was saying that like people are being rude and they were. So these, um, are like, they're, they're beads, but they look like little tiny dice. And I found those at the outlets. And if you've ever been to an outlet, you literally pay per pound. The more you get, the cheaper it is. There is one thing I'm not going to be able to show you that I got there. And that's because it's one of those little tykes toy boxes. And it didn't have the lid on it. My daughter just told me yesterday she needed toy boxes. And it was $2. And people are trying to sell it for $130 on eBay. It's ridiculous. So anyways, I found these, the old school um, wood letter blocks. So I grabbed what I could of those. Um, I figured I could paint over them or, or I don't know, make some words. And obviously I didn't get them all. But there's that. I found this here, which it's apparently is from Hawaii. But I thought that would be fun to craft with. I guess I could get in the view. So I found that. Um, I got some ribbons. So there's this one here. And it's a wired edge, ri wired edge ribbon. I told my friend I would give her some of it if she would like. Because it's super, super cute. And I think that was like a... Uh, I think that was a Kirkland brand. But I'm not sure the other cardboard fell off of it. <laughs> This one says it was from Ben Franklin. It was originally 77 cents, but I thought that was super cute. And then this one is kind of like a burlap green. And that one originally was 77 cents, but I paid per pound for all this. All this little bit of stuff, the the, the little tykes thing and all this last little stuff I'm showing you, $23. Um, so there's yellow there. 
And then this one here, which I thought would be super cute for like a baby book or something. Um, so there's that. And then, sorry, all this stuff is on my floor. <laughs> my friend found some bingo tile, bingo, bingo <laughs> cards. And there's quite a few there. And then I seen this game, but I didn't want the board or anything like that. But I wanted the cards for junk journals, of course. Worst case scenario. And so I got all the cards, but I thought they would be good for the junk journals. Um, let's see. It says, how to fly safely to, safely to and from third world countries. A, Chinese and Soviet made aircraft are the safest planes. B, military combat flights are very safe. If you can get on one, take the opportunity. And C, avoid national carriers that are not allowed to fly into the U.S., and but so I thought those would be cute for journals. How to extinguish a grease fire while cooking? Throw baking soda on the fire, turn off the flame, or cover the pan with its lid. Um, I try to find different things for the journals, and then this one is called a correspondence kit. It's a circle journey books, and I think it's pretty new. Like I think everything's still in there. But I thought this would be great for the journals as well. It has an envelope here. And some more envelopes. And a little journal book. So I think that'll be super cute. And let's see. A couple more things and then I'll and then we'll be done here. So my friend um my friend found these. And I'm going to split them up with her because she wanted some of them. And they look at look at all of this. Okay, so we got yellow, and we got the burgundy, and we have a green here, and then a blue, and another blue, and another green. And I mean that's a lot of twine or string or whatever. So it doesn't say how much is on there. It just says bundle. So I'm going to separate and give her some of this because that's a lot um, per pound. And then the last two things that I got, I just started doing a Christmas village in, um, last Christmas and I found two unopened packs of the Snowdrift foam drape. So <laughs> anyways, guys and gals and whomever's out there. I just wanted to share that with you, all my hauls. And unfortunately, tomorrow it's back to adulting. Um, and like I said, in a couple days, hopefully I'll have a video of my uh, baby book number five for my coworker. Oh, also I did get some more things for her at the outlets, but unfortunately I can't share it because I don't want her to see everything before I give it to her. She'll probably see that picture, but other than that, she doesn't gonna see anything until I give it to her. So I hope you guys all have a fabulous evening and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, comment, leave me a big thumbs up and you have an awesome evening. Bye.